This video is sponsored by Terabox. With Terabox, you get one terabyte of free cloud storage where you can store your photos and files safely. Terabox is ISO and IEC certified for cloud data security, which ensures that your data is safe and secure. The app offers an easy to use interface which will let you upload your files and encrypt them and of course even protect them with a passcode or face ID. You can use the auto backup feature of the app to automatically backup any of your photos or files. You can also download your photos and files so that you can view them on your device even though you might be offline. All of your data will be automatically classified so you can browse and find any photo or file you need in a matter of second. Go ahead and give Terrorbox a try by checking the link right down below in the description of this video. Hey what's going on everyone this is iReviews back with another video and today I will show you guys 12 hacks and tricks that will help you speed up any iPhone running iOS 16. Now if you have a newer iPhone you probably won't notice a big difference but if you have an older iPhone these will help a lot on having a way better experience using your iPhone on a daily basis. Now first off we're starting with a very like tricky hack when it comes to using apps on your iPhone to get the best performance out of your iPhone and of course get the best speed. Now if you know Apple has actually stated that closing apps from the app switcher is not actually the best practice. You should leave them there so whenever you need an app you can just go straight to that app and it's ready to go. Now this is okay and I suggest you do this but you will have to do something here. I don't suggest you keep all the apps open on the app switcher. Now these apps will stay on the RAM memory. Now what we are doing here when trying to speed up our iPhone is minimize the processes that will require CPU power and RAM memory. So what I suggest you do to get the best result is that you keep apps that you use daily like you use messages maybe a few times a day or any of your social media but if you have an app that you might use once a day or once in three or four days make sure you go ahead and remove it from the app switcher. Next up we're moving to the app store settings on the settings app. Head on to settings app store and what you will see right here is a section for automatic downloads. Now of course these are necessary you will have automatic downloads and updates in the background so you don't have to worry about them but if you have an older device and it's struggling it will actually struggle more if you have apps downloading and also updating and installing in the background. So if you have a ton of apps you'll probably get a few updates a day because Apps are very regularly updated and those will be downloaded without you knowing and will be installed without you knowing. So you might be doing something else on your device and you will notice that your device will get really hot or it's not working as fast as it should. You probably have an app being automatically downloaded and installed on the background. So what I suggest you do, you go ahead and turn these off so you can then manually download and update your device or your apps actually when you have time and you're not doing anything else on your iPhone. Next up we're moving to Siri and search. So head on to settings Siri and search. Now what you will find right here is a lot of things that Siri will do for you. First of all we have here before searching we have content from Apple showing lookup showing spotlight then you have suggestions from Apple you have notifications that will just basically send you notif Siri will send you notifications about different suggestions about places and things like that. You can go ahead and disable this disable showing app library and then you have all of the apps that you have here so probably you don't need suggestions from Siri for most of these apps like if you go to an app that you probably maybe just use once or maybe use very rarely you don't want to just occupy your device's CPU with suggestions and stuff from this app so you can go ahead and just turn that off right here and of course turn these off as well so you just leave there the apps that you actually need. Next up we're moving to the general settings. Go to general, go to background app refresh and these are the apps that you have installed on your device and all of these apps will be refreshing in the background. That means that even when you're not using this, these apps they are allowed to do stuff in the background so they will use the CPU power and RAM memory of your device. Of course you can disable a lot of these so you will have probably a ton of apps here that you don't actually need to do that. If you have apps like the social media apps or any really important apps like maps for example you should leave that on but for other apps that you don't actually 
care that much you can go ahead maybe the games or stuff like that just go ahead and turn these off now something that requires a lot of cpu power as well as battery is location services the way i use always location services on my device is that i actually only turn it on when i need it i never leave location services turned on all the time just turn it on when i need it i want to use maps for example i turn it on once i'm done i switch it off location services will actually require a lot of cpu power as well as battery so that is what i suggest you do maybe just turn it off and use it only when you need it or just go ahead and check which apps have basically access to your location and can use your location so you know that whenever you're opening an app it's not every time tracking your location that way slowing down your iphone so make sure you only do that only allow location services for apps that you actually need next up are widgets home screen widgets and lock screen widgets as well now all of these widgets will require cpu power they need to be updated and of course they will need ram memory as again cpu power as well so if you have a ton of those you probably don't need most of them make sure you go ahead and check them see which ones you need which ones you don't need and just use the ones that you really really need so if you have a ton of them on your home screen i have like just a stack here with a few different ones i don't have a lot like four there but don't just add different widgets just because they look cool because they will consume of course cpu power and ram memory as well next we're talking about live activities of course live activities on the lock screen look pretty good and you will have of course now a lot of different live activities that you can download and install from a lot of different apps like having in like a second dock on the lock screen and things like that or having something like this monitoring the speed the downloads and uploads of your wi-fi and seller but of course this consumes battery if these keep updating all the time it will consume a lot of battery as well as a lot of cpu power because of course those two go together so if you keep a lot of these and even if you just keep just one and you keep it enabled all the time that will require some cpu power that way it will slow down your iphone of course especially if you have an older one next up is website data so if you want to have a smoother experience using your browser on your iphone and have a faster experience make sure you're regularly just delete your website data now you can do that for safari by going to settings go to safari and you will have a button here to clear history and website data if you don't want to do that then you can head on to advanced here go to website data and from there you can only delete website data without having to delete your browsing history so that's pretty pretty cool now i suggest you do that even if you use like a third party app like maybe google chrome go ahead and do that as well now deleting website data will do another good for your device it will free up space so this is another thing that i suggest you do always make sure that you have a few gigs of free storage on your iphone head on to the general settings go to the iphone storage and see here how much free storage you have and just try to make basically a few more gigs of free storage now i see people with their iphones all the time running low on storage and of course always getting that pop-up that's really not that good it's not that good of course for the performance of the device as well because ios requires to have some space to operate and apps as well so always make sure that you have a few gigs of free space on your device at least at least like four or five gigs of free storage on your iphone to make sure that your iphone will run as it should now if you have an older iphone something that will really help is going to your settings go to accessibility and go to motion from here you can enable reduce motion that way it will reduce all some of the some like unnecessary like, animations that your device has of course it won't look as cool but again that will just save a lot of cpu power that way making your iphone run much much smoother Another thing you can do under the accessibility settings is head on to display and text size and enable reduce transparency. This will basically improve the contrast and reduce the transparency and blurs on some of the backgrounds. That way, of course, we'll have a much, much smoother experience using your iPhone. Again, this and the motion one, these will work if you have an older device. And last but not least, anytime you see your iPhone running really bad, 
always make sure that you reboot your device regularly, like volume up, volume down, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo and you're good to go. That way you just will have like a fresh start on your iPhone and it actually works. I've tried it on a couple of devices, older devices that I had and it really works. So make sure you regularly reboot your iPhone, especially when you see that it's not running as fast as it should. So that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead and leave a like if you did. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.